In any number of professions, a talented person finds the best school they can and then works to become a student there, hoping that studying at that institution with that faculty will allow that person to maximize their talents. In jazz, there was a university that served as an example, a mentor, a critic, and finishing school for so many aspiring artists. That university was embodied in one man, Pittsburgher Art Blakey. Art Blakey was born in the Hill District section of Pittsburgh on October 11, 1919. He had a few piano lessons in seventh grade, but he was really self-taught on piano and later drums. In his early years, Art organized a big band to play at dances. He was playing piano with the group at a local club when fellow Pittsburgher Errol Garner showed up and replaced him at the piano. This was a key career move for Blakey, as he then took over as drummer in the band. He became a fan of drummers Chick Webb and Sid Catlett. His first big professional break came in the autumn of 1942, when fellow Pittsburgher Mary Lou Williams hired him to play with her band at Kelly's Stable, a jazz club on 52nd Street in New York City. In 1943, famous band leader Fletcher Henderson heard Art play and hired him. He toured with the Henderson Band for two years. In 1944, he was approached by another Pittsburgher, Billy Eckstein, and offered a chance to play with Eckstein's new big band. This would prove to be an incubator for bebop musicians that included such luminaries as Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker, Thelonious Monk, and Sarah Vaughan. During 1948 and 1949, Blakey traveled to Africa to learn about Islamic culture, hence his name, Ibn Bahaina. While there, he also learned techniques of African drumming, which influenced his playing from that point on. Blakey became the driving force behind the energetic hard bop movement of the 1950s. He helped to bring drums to the forefront of the music, making percussion an integral part of the melodic line. Blakey was known as the most vital drummer to emerge from the bop movement. Let's listen to a cut from the 1962 album Art Blakey and the Afro Drum Ensemble. Its title is Obirin Afrikan, which translates Women of Africa. To art, jazz was American music, and there was nothing like it anywhere else on the planet. In the early 1950s, Blakey and pianist Horace Silver established a quintet they called the Jazz Messengers and began to record for Blue Note Records. They brought in gospel and blues influences. People who were not deeply into modern jazz could relate to these forms, and the group caught on quickly. The messengers began touring Europe with forays into Africa and a highly successful tour of Japan. Let's listen to part of the opening track of that first album recorded in 1954. It featured Horace Silver on piano, Hank Mobley on tenor, Kenny Dorham on trumpet, Doug Watkins on bass, and Art Blakey on drums. It's titled Room 608. Listen how the drums not only drive the group, but help define their soloist.
When Silver left to form a group of his own, Blakey kept the Messenger's name, and the band became a training ground for two generations of young musicians. Branford Marsalis, Wayne Shorter, Donald Byrd, Winton Marsalis, and Woody Shaw, just to name a few. Let's listen to the famous Bobby Timmons tune, Moanin'. It features Timmons on piano, Jimmy Merritt on bass, Art Blakey on drums, Benny Golson on tenor, and Lee Morgan on trumpet. Notice how Blakey influences and complements each soloist, all without saying a word, letting the drums give the message. On the road, Art Blakey never slowed down, even when growing deafness made it difficult for him to hear the soloists. He continued to outswing musicians half his age. As he told his audiences, music is supposed to wash away the dust of everyday life from your feet. Let's listen to Art Featured, this time on Study in Rhythm. Art Blakey, or Ibn Bahaina, as he was known in his Muslim faith, died in New York City on October 16, 1990. But his legacy as an innovator, a performer, and a teacher will endure to those who love jazz. Pittsburgher, Art Blakey. <laughs> 